Hey, hey, hey guys, uh, welcome back to Mining Hardware Channel. This is me, your host Gundis. And uh, yeah, you're probably thinking uh, what I'm doing here. Uh, mining is dead. And uh, here I am with another mining uh, tutorial. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, everyone's uh, case is different and tactics for mining. I do prefer that currencies are down. And uh, that means that the mining difficulty doesn't grow as fast. Especially if you do, do believe um, the the top currencies, you know, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, you know, if you do believe them that they're going to be do good and you just mine them and keep the coins um, and also protect yourself uh, when the coins are um, in the price are up, you know, then just, you know, uh, put some money on the side for uh, power costs in the, such a bad times, you know, because this happens uh, time to time. Um, quite often we have had similar situations that only the uh, power cost will cover your mining profits and that's all you will actually in some cases <laughs> you would even lose the money um, but yeah um, the, the the video is not about this uh, the video is about um, Hive OS uh, version 2.0 um, the guys has released just uh, yesterday and so I just want to come out and uh, um, for, uh, to help you to um, to get used to the um, uh, web GUI because it's, uh, it's changed a lot um, there's you know new features uh, and the looks is uh, new and overclocking is done different way and you know the most most of the uh, most of the uh, new features is that they have now the um, a fan control automatic fan control so you can set up your uh, GPUs to reach certain temperature and you know you can put the uh, how much the fan speed you want you know maybe 20% you know and if it reach, uh, reaches 65 Celsius then the then the fan speed will increase to keep the temperature down to 65 degrees and also now each user can create multiple farms um, which I will show you there in a minute uh, also the wallets there's no more e walls d walls or z walls Oh, it's just a coin. You create a coin, you put a wallet in, and then you just select a coin what you want to mine. Um, also, the, the, there's a, such a called fly sheets, which is um, which is the uh, like a wallet file on the uh, on the previous version where um, where you can put set up details. You know they have also they have already you know um, pre set up mining pools with coins, so you just need to put it in. Um, they have most of the mining pools in, in, in into the one uh, into the uh, all the into the uh, uh, web GUI. So okay, let's let's switch on to the screen. So as you can see, um, this is what I was talking about. You can create multiple farms for one user, and then you just uh, see your farm and uh, as as your previous uh, version. You click on the workers. You see all the workers there. Um, it's I think the looks is much more better you know there I seen there's a lot of guys frustrating that uh, you know they want to back first version but believe me this is this is much better and also uh, what's what's good about it um, you will get used to it one to two days you know and this, this has more features and uh, you know easier to see you can see the issues like you can see straight away uh, from your panel you can see um, you know what's the issues uh, with the uh, GPUs here? This rig is maybe getting only 85 uh, percent of the shares. You know there's invalid shares, so there's something wrong with this. You know it needs to be set up. Um, you can see how many GPUs um, straight from your workers panels. How many GPUs has you know uh, every every miner like th these green green uh, uh, what do you call them? <laughs> green dots um, they are showing how many GPUs and uh, uh, the miner has like uh, eight GPUs the greens then you then, then when you click on it, it it pops up the screen and it shows every GPU the temperature on every GPU and the mining speed on every GPU so that's what it does um, also what you can do you can now you can select multiple rigs so for example first second third and you can do that there's a pop-up a new setting on the top of the screen so you can uh, 
change overclocking profi profiles, you can set up auto fans for them. Um, so for example, to set up auto fans, you can see that the uh, you put the target temperature. This, this, this means how uh, temperature, how much you want to reach it um, before, uh, under which temperature you want to keep the GPUs down. So if you put a 70 degrees uh, Celsius, the GPUs will go to 70 degrees and they will work with the minimum fan speed um, uh, possible. This is you put the minimal fan speed, how, how much you want, you know, uh, the fans to be working. Um, and then the maximum fan speed and also the critical uh, temperature. And also you can switch between the uh, cards, you know, if you don't want these on AMD cards or NVIDIA, um, reboot if there's any errors. So these two settings you can switch on also. Yeah, this I think this is the main main good feature. I was already testing it and it's working perfect. Um, so next, um, yeah, these features you can change the wallets and miners. Um, so next is uh, wallets. Like, how do you create a wallet? Um, you just add a wallet, new wallet, for example. You choose a coin, what coin you want. Um, for example, Ethereum. Then the wallet address, you put in the wallet address, yeah, 0x, and you name the wallet how you want it. And that's it, you can see that there's a, a new wallet for you, for you created. And then, then after that, if you want to mine a, a coin, like for example, Ethereum, you go to the fly sheets and you create a new uh, coin. You just choose Ethereum and it will give you options for your wallets. This is the wallet we just created. So you just choose that wallet and it also gives you an option what kind of pool you want to mine. So for example, I like the best Ethermine, I choose Ethermine. And it also allows me to uh, <laughs> choose what server I want to use. So I'm in Europe, I choose Europe. And also if you like, you want to use some kind of different server, there's advanced configuration you can you can put it in. So this, this one is good for me. Um, then you can also, what you can do, you can... Uh, uh, you can select the miner next which you want to use you want to use this is the remember this is all preset you just choose a, you know it couldn't be simpler than that i don't know why guys would want uh high voice one back if they have such an easy setup now um okay you choose the claim or miner after then you can set up also the, the minor configuration this is the same uh thing uh um uh, as you had in the high OS first, like if you want to so override some configuration, like you want to set up the fan speed, and that's mi minus minus TT TT one, I think. This is how you turn on. I think so. Yeah. So this means like you you want that uh, the fan speeds is not automatically uh, managed by Claymore, but you can manage them from your overclocking profile. Um. You can mine dual coin. You choose if you have a like a setup wallet for a different uh, dual coin. Um, so it go, give, gives you an, uh, even <laughs> an option what kind of dual coins you can mine. Um, then then you can choose. Yeah, when you choose the dual coin, you, you you choose the wallet and so on. So I don't have any other wallets the setup. Um, in this case, don't use dual. And then just uh, uh, name the they name the uh, name the uh, miner uh, what you want to name it so claim or test Ethereum create flight sheet and this is our new flight sheet um, so you can we can also create an overclocking profiles um, this this thing here in the high like in the high west one was. Um, you when you you know when you need to uh, switch, switch, switch between the coins there's a different overclocking profile and that would disappear uh, in high OS like if you you can create uh, overclocking profile for each algorithm so it uses that algorithm uh, that overclocking profile when you switch to this algorithm so this is also also a, a great great feature and you can apply overclocking so you just name it test and you, you can configure AMD, NVIDIA cards whatever you want to choose 
And also, what another good thing, you know, they, they have implemented um, uh, uh, at enlargement build for uh, 1080s and uh, uh, 1080 Ti's, which uh, increases a lot of speed uh, for Ethereum mining. I'll show you that in the next video. I have uh, 1080 rig uh, uh, hashing uh, on the Hive OS. So yeah, what else I, I needed to show? Um, flight sheets. Yeah, and then like you, when you when you see all the miners uh, you, at the workers, you just click on the miner. If you want to um, switch, uh, uh, change the flight sheets. You know, you can just when you open the miner, it shows you all the GPUs. It shows the uh, uh, the temperatures and the fan speeds and all what you need all the com components what you have um, You can also log into this rig remotely. You can uh, run commands uh, for for it um, You can uh, set up a, a maximum uh, Temperature, you know, you get a warning when the temperature raises over that limit um, You can set up VPN you can uh, choose a different URL I think also you can shut down a rig and reboot the miner if you want um, you can edit the tags you can group the miners by tags um, you can ac access it remotely um, through the teleconsole it doesn't matter like if your rig is not, not even on the same a local network you can access your uh, mining rig from far far away <laughs> far far away yeah um, uh, yeah, just by uh, teleconsole, which is a, which is a new thing, um, and you can reboot the miner. You know, the, some of the, sometimes the miners crash, but you can still can access them remotely to reboot the miner, and that means you don't need to uh, reboot it physically um, if you know don't have any of those power remote controls. And uh, yeah, you can put also watchdogs. Um, you can put watchdogs for uh, a separate rig you can put a uh, watchdog for a separate a uh, miner um, like if the, the the speed decreases under your preferred um, like for example here 300 uh, mega hash you know uh, mining rig you know if it if this goes under 300 minutes uh, mega hash and uh, miner uh, miner is uh, still under 300 mega hash after three minute, minutes the mining mining rig will reboot itself that's that's the uh, watchdog for uh, watchdog for the uh, miner and next yeah when you can change all this you know you can switch the miner between the coins you can change the flight sheet you know you can uh, choose mine ethereum you can choose mine any other coin which you have set up um, then overclocking you can overclock every every mining separate you know it also gives you the sample even you know uh, this is the overclocking for at hash and it shows you how many coins there is on at hash which would probably use this exactly the same overclock if you had set up for the maximum uh, mining uh, tuning I'm not really sure what is this tuning oh you can you can override the uh, minor configuration that's the tuning uh, you can see the minor stats you can see the temperatures you can see the the power usage. You know, of course, it's not accurate. Doesn't show here, but still, you know, you can see it. Um, it does show uh, some kind of changes. Um, activity. There's nothing so far in settings, and you can also, yeah, from the settings, you can go and if you want to remove this working, you can delete this. Also, you can uh, transfer the miners to a different farm. So you, you you know if you our mining rig manufacturer and you sell the mining rigs you can transfer to uh, a different different uh, uh, farms or you have multiple farms which you can just transfer the rigs you know if you have maybe two locations and you can decide you know move 10 rigs to another location you just simply transfer uh, to another farm in your highways um, I think this is it um, I will have probably another uh, video when I go through this uh, more advanced and uh, I would love to know in the comments down below you know what kind of issues you have what uh, you don't understand from the HiOS 2.0 I think it's very good 
um, let me know what you think about uh, about it um, if you love to use it if not um, yeah and uh, if you would want to see another video of something you know um, overclocking or yeah I, I forgot another thing I, I, I can show you also it's easy to uh, modify the graphics cards um, overclocking yeah flash the BIOS you can download the, the, the uh, graphics cards BIOS uh, right from your uh, uh, web panel and then you can just flash the uh, flush the uh, BIOS on whatever card you want so easy yeah um, yeah it's, it's, it's really it is honestly uh, to use uh, very easily and I do prefer it and I do love it uh, and like I like the guys uh, at what speed they are working on this and uh, all the uh, new features are simple to implement it so fast I don't think there is a uh, like at enlargement pill implemented on 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 the uh, uh, ethos or simple mining not sure about simple mining it might be there on simple mining already but I'm not sure um, I just know one thing that one month ago there wasn't any um, but but yeah um, leave comments down below what you think about this software um, what you think why where mining is going do you really think it is dead um, I yeah that's leave me your thoughts i want to want to see them i want to read them and uh, thank you for tuning in for this video thanks for watching guys i see you on the next one um if you found value from this share with your friends and uh hit the like button if you did like the video um otherwise see you bye